Well, at Nestle, we have implemented over the last couple of years a number of very important elements supporting open innovation. A series of elements is dedicated to our entrepreneurs, employees who have great ideas, who have entrepreneurial skills and an entrepreneurial mindset. And we want to help those, these employees to realize their ideas. So Ingenious is our internal proposition system, our internal ideation system. We have calls and people can propose ideas and then ideas are selected based on a voting system. Up to now, nearly 80,000 employees participated uh, in, the, in this uh, initiative. 80,000 employees from 80 countries. Now alone this year, 13,000 employees proposed new ideas through the system and that in the frame of 20 calls. So really a great success for us. Now often those employees, they're missing labs, they're missing access to infrastructure and hence we have equipped all our centers with prototyping labs where we have kitchen chefs, baristas and they help our employees to uh, turn a great idea into a great prototype. Now, having said that, there was one piece missing, which is infrastructure to collaborate as well with startups. In our industry, while you are eating things, you're smelling things, you need something tangible. And often startups, as well as uh, student teams, they are missing expertise, they're missing pilot plants, they're missing labs. Hence, we created the accelerator network. And one, our biggest accelerator, is here where I'm sitting, it's behind me in Verge Le Plan, in our research center close to Lausanne. What's happening here? Well, teams are coming in and they are working intensively on an idea actually for six months. And after the six months, we want to have a sellable product, which we put then in a retail or retail environment. That's working very, very well. And, and here the teams have access to all the expertise of the center. So at the place, for instance, we have four to 500 experts and they can access those experts on a daily basis. The place is also surrounded by pilot plants and labs, shared labs and shared pilot plants. So they can use also this infrastructure. And all those elements have been proven to be very effective to collaborate uh, with startups, but also with student teams. The last piece, our innovation partnerships, where we collaborate here with suppliers, but also with customers of us. Uh, we select key projects, typically we have three uh, top projects with each partner, and then we work very intensively on those projects, also with the aim to bring something very rapidly to the market. It's the $1 million question. How do we measure success? in an initiative, in an environment where there is uncertainty and a high degree of uncertainty. Not everything uh, will work. Now, first of all, we are looking how many prototypes we have generated. And prototypes means not only products, it means also prototypes of services and prototypes of systems. That's the first uh, KPI we're having a look at. Then the second one is how many of those prototypes are getting launched, either in the frame of a test launch a single market launch or a international global launch. And then last but not least, we are tracking also the financial success of those uh, launches. And that takes obviously a bit time. So typically looking at the third year and, and then we have also some long-term innovation uh, where the horizon is a bit longer. So we try to quantify uh, the financial impact of these launches. A major initiative beside Ingenious uh, was our accelerator, our R&D accelerator. And we have not 12 of those accelerators. And uh, what's new here? Well, uh, it's, it's kind of revolution for a big company like we are because we are opening here the labs to the external world. So we're welcoming teams coming in and they have access to all the infrastructure you see here around me. But they have also access, and that's uh, maybe even more important to all our experts. And that's kind of uh, new. This is what I call true open innovation. So you don't outsource a project. Now you have teams coming in, you work together, and uh, often these teams are mixed teams. So composed of our own experts and then startups. So you're combining here deep expertise in a certain area with the creativity 
and, and the passion of, of a startup or a student team. And that's a, a very good recipe for success. Well, I would say not too much. Uh, so the impact was quite limited. We kept launches, uh, our launch program and the launch intensity. Uh, so we launched last year even more than any year before. Uh, so COVID uh, was not uh, slowing us down here. But what changed probably a bit is the type of meetings which you have. Uh, in COVID, you have travel restrictions and, uh, and hence, yes, many of the meetings uh, were online. But at the end, you still need face-to-face -face, uh, interactions uh, because the quality of a face-to-face -face interaction is still always uh, a bit better. And uh, uh, yes, in, in, the, in the food and beverage industry, well, you have to see the product, you have to taste the product, and that's uh, virtually a bit different uh, and a bit difficult. So uh, I, I would say impact was, was, was limited, um, but uh, the type of meetings and uh, the way we interact with each other, uh, that has probably changed a bit, and some of that will also remain in, in the future. Well, there are a number of areas which are highly relevant for us as a company, where we are welcoming new ideas, where we are welcoming uh, open innovation and collaboration. Uh, for instance, if you take the area of sustainability, and that means plastic waste, that means also carbon dioxide emissions. And, and here, uh, the problem is very big, because at the end, you want still to have a safe product, you want to deliver it to consumer, there needs to be residual shelf life, uh, it needs to be very nutritious, and uh, uh, let's not forget also affordable for consumers. So that's a, a very big challenge uh, to get that all um, convened and combined on the product level. And for that we need science and technology and we need creativity and we need uh, a collaboration with the external world. And that encompasses also a collaboration in the area of food waste. Uh, you all know that on the global level, 30 to 40 percent of the food is uh, wasted, which is uh, not acceptable. And here we have to work very hard to reduce this. Maybe uh, another area uh, which uh, merits also uh, a look and which is um, uh, probably equally important is affordable nutrition. And actually those two topics are somehow interlinked. Uh, you first have to ensure that people have access to nutritious and affordable food. And, uh, and then uh, you, we can also talk about sustainability, how we produce this food in a sustainable way. So both topics are, are linked. And also for affordable nutrition, always the assumption is, yeah, well, we don't need technology for that. And that's wrong. We need a lot of uh, science and technology, how to fortify the products, how to ensure that we can increase protein content in an affordable way. How can we valorize local raw materials uh, uh, so that's, that's an area well, uh, where open innovation uh, is needed. And uh, last but not least, uh, we have also the agricultural sector. As a company, we are now uh, going uh, very deep also into agricultural science and agri-tech. And uh, in the agricultural sector, which is the main tool to achieve, for instance, carbon neutrality, uh, for us as a, as a food producer, a big part of our carbon footprint is linked to the ingredients well, there are new solutions required and we have ver to work very hard on those solutions and we have to work also with the external world on, on these solutions. So it's a great honor for us to receive this award and uh, uh, we are really delighted and uh, we will keep for, uh, pushing forward with our open innovation initiatives. Uh, they have been proven to be instrumental for the implementation of the company's strategy for purposeful innovation for delivering food which is good for you but which is also good for the planet. So thank you very much.